be prioritized based on the accessibility of the other kids. Mr. Petson, perhaps I can follow up. How are non-symptomatic professional athletes getting tests while others are waiting in line and can't get them? Do the well-connected go to the front of the line? Well, that, you'd have to ask them that question. I mean, they, uh, I, that I've read. No, I wouldn't say so, but perhaps that's uh, been the story of life. That does happen on occasion, and I've noticed where some people have been tested uh, fairly quickly. Uh, look, we inherited well, a very... encourage them to defer excuse their me. tests to others. Excuse me. We inherited a very obsolete system. This was a system that was uh, out of date, obsolete, or it was a system that was never meant to take care of the kind of quantity, the number of people that we're talking about, millions and millions of people. If you go back in years past, like uh, even recently with the flu, nobody had tests before. They didn't test the entire nation to see whether or not they had flu. They got the flu. They got better. Hopefully they got better. That was it. Now, all of a sudden, they do this very complex testing. What we've done is we've broken it down. We've broken up the system. But it was obsolete and or you could say it was also a system that just wasn't meant to handle the kind of vol volume that you're talking about. We've rebuilt it into a system that for the future will be a very good system if you want to go this route. But this was never done before. And I would imagine it will be done in the future, but we built it into a very good system by using private companies, the great private companies. And I have to say, Roche has been doing a very good job. They're doing a lot of work, a very good job. But this was an obsolete system. This was not a system that was meant to do anything like this or even near this. John.